Praise the Lord. I want to talk about the word repentance, which means sincere regret or remorse. It is okay, watch this, to feel regret about doing something wrong against God's word. But it's not okay to live in regret. See, living in regret, living in regret makes you look back. And if you keep looking back, you're going to, watch this, what you have left behind is going to pull you backwards. Woo, thank you, Jesus. The other part of repentance is to change one's mind. So number two, it is not good, watch this, just to repent when you do something wrong. Repentance is a way of life. So every day, watch this, uh, I'm supposed to be changing my mindset. Ooh, I want y'all to catch this. Do you wear a pair of shoes and expect a pair of shoes to stay, stay brand new? What happens when you get a pair of uh, a brand new shoes? As you begin to wear them, what happens? Wear and tear begins to happen. Stains get on them. So if you don't take care of it and wash it, they begin to look raggedy. What am I telling you? If you do not, watch this, allow God to tend to your mind, it will become raggedy. I don't care how long you've been in church. I don't care how long you've been praying. If you don't allow God to change your mindset every day, you will be living in a raggedy, messed up mindset. So number, watch this. So, so, so number three, we're supposed to be living in repentance. It's a state of mind. Watch Romans uh, chapter twelve and verse uh, two. It says, "And be not conformed to this world." Now, I, I, it, this is very, very important. We're not supposed to conform to anything. The, the definition of conform means to act in accord with the prevailing standards attitudes, practices of society. In other words, whatever is popular, that's what we become like. See, in the church, I want to say this, we're trying to become like the pastor. We're trying to become like other people praise teams. Uh, we're trying to become like this person because we feel they have books that they wrote. Uh, they travel all over the world. And God says, listen, the spirit of conformity don't change nobody's life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The spirit of being like somebody else will not help you go to the next level. But the Bible acts as, watch this. It says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, what does the word transform mean? It comes uh, from the Greek word metapho, which we get our word meta metamorphosis from. And I want you all to catch this. Watch this, y'all. This is so powerful. It means to change into a different physical form, especially by supernatural means. To change strikingly the appearance or character of. Number one, I want you to catch this. That's why in the church that I pastor, we got a saying that says, this is a disease-free church. You got to understand this. High blood pressure can't dwell in the body when the body is obedient to the word of God. God sent the word of God to heal. So there's certain things that God will have you to do. He probably well, says God will put on your heart to change your eating habits. God will put on your heart uh, to, to exercise this way. God will put on your heart to speak this way. Anyhow, transformation, watch this, causes you to be totally different. Causes you to be strikingly, watch this, different. The word strikingly means Watch well, this, y'all. In a way that attracts attention by reason of being usual, unusual, extreme, or prominent. Watch well, this, y'all. You're able to grab the attention and produce a vivid impression on the sight or the mind. So, in other words, I want y'all to catch this. When we live in the state of mind of, of repentance, which means every day, because, Lord, I remember what it felt like. Watch well, this, y'all. To, to, to disobey your word. I, I, I remember what it felt like. It made me, it, I didn't feel good. I heard it when I uh, uh, disobeyed you, which means to let me know that's how you feel, God, when we disobey your laws. Uh, that's how you feel, God, when we turn away from you. It hurts you. And so now that I know how it makes you feel, every day I'm going to, watch this, work towards changing my mind. So I stay in a state of repentance. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, watch this now. God says, when I'm transforming your life, I make you so appealing, watch this, that when you begin to minister, when people begin to watch you, they begin to see a vivid impression of how they're supposed to be in God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's why God says we're different. That's why God says we're peculiar. Why? Because we, we're able to be so effective because of living 
Watch this. In the in the state of repentance, which means my mind is always changing. Oh, I said for the good. In other words, Lord, I don't want to go back that way. So I'm gonna make it in. I'm gonna make it my purpose. Watch this for you to change my mind. And while I'm doing this, watch this, y'all. I'm able to show people, give them a picture of who they're supposed to be in God. So I want to say this: It's not good to live in regret, but regret is the first. Watch this. The first emotion that you feel once you uh, once you realize that, man, I've been living wrong this whole time. But do not let the enemy allow you to live in regret. After then, you live for God to renew your mind on an everyday basis. Love you and have a wonderful day.